I think. And I think, um, just me asking, how how big is your penis? I don't. Th- it's just know. him asking. It's okay. On a good day, it's. All because That's he what? thought he went to black culture class. <laughs> I'm not believing it. I'll get the ruler right now. <laughs> okay, not this is going to be a different <laughs> podcast. Here, yeah, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring. <laughs> What's up, uh, children? Welcome to the podcast, episode 41 of Dropouts. This week we have a human. I don't know your name, but it's glad to have you here. My name is Markel, and I'm not a dropout, guys. I successfully graduated with a GPA of 2.1. <laughs> God, beat Indy by a whole he point. Said, oh, well, damn. <laughs> I was I was happy with my 2.1. It was uh, well, our class 283 students. I was 289. Did you re- <laughs> you really had a 2.1. Yeah. Dude, welcome to dropouts. <laughs> You're the perfect guest. Oh Hit my us with God. Intro music. Here we go. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is a little dope little ring back there. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. I made that. It's all right. Man. Okay, we are here with Markel Washington. Uh, what do you do that um, people would find interesting? Um, <clears throat> I know how to shake my yam chops. Yeah, yeah. you do, bitch. We're twerking partners. Hello, that is true. That's how me and Indy actually became friends. Yep. We met in a twerk circle. N- nice. No, it was a circle. It was just like I, I was, was twerking, just, uh, and yeah. then I was like, "Yes, bitch!" And then I started shaking my ass, and I and said, he, "Yes, bitch!" Yes, and that's this, how this we This was just like friends. walking down the street randomly. You guys were both kind of backing no, 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 it up. No, no, no. We're at um hype house. Um, I don't know where the hell that street at, but uh, in Hollywood, and um. Do you remember the song? Do your, do your, no do your song. cheeks clap differently to different music? I think there was a music? song. I think, I was, <laughs> I think you were twerking, and I was like, how the f*** do I do that? And you were like, yeah, here. And then I was like, yeah. And you were like, yeah. That's exactly That's how it exactly went. Actually, how it I was twerking. She said, how do you do that? I just say, it's really basic. You just wham, wham, wham. And then she did it. I said, yes, bitch. Wait, are, is he the reason that you wham, wham, wham so much? Yeah. It's completely his fault. Every five seconds, she... Um, body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. She body, yaddy. <laughs> Literally... Great, Markel. Literally, we have you to thank for it's that. It's literally yes. Markel's fault. We were at Hype House, and it was—I think it was in the—it was either in the pool area, yep, or, pool yeah, area, pool area. And I saw, and he, when I mean, he was shaking ass. He was shaking damn ass. He was holding on to the side of the pool. And he was shaking <laughs> ass, and I was like, I need to do that, and I need to practice. And I've been practicing every day to get to the point that I'm at. So people inside thought there was like a round of applause going on outside. Yeah. They're like, somebody's there's With a, the there's a my crowd. Ass was shaking. Hello, there's an Hello. audience. And they thought they thought it was Ellen generous show in the background, <laughs> but it was just us and our yams. <laughs> well, that's I'm pretty beautiful. sure the first time I met Markel, he was shaking his ass, so it's kind of poetic. I feel like ninety percent of the time that's it. That is what he's doing, and then yeah. the other ten percent, he's just because eating or if you're good at something, why would you not? Do Hello, it? if you're good at it, why not perform and show everybody what you're good at? That's true. And then I learned. Sorry. So Hello. you're welcome. You can teach people. If I can teach others how to shake yams, claps. I'm sorry. And- yeah. Wait, can you teach Jared? If you can shake a little, if you can teach a little white girl how to shake ass, you Hello. can teach anyone. Um, Jared, it might not be possible. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need how damn rhythm in his curls in them bitches around. <laughs> Jared, come on, man. I want to see those yams shake. I don't think I have enough yams to shake at um, all, bitch. That's squash <laughs> potato salad or squash what squash yams. They, you know, me and Indy have the whole like sweet potato. Jerry have the squash yams. They ain't really there. You got there. like you I got have, some like sweet potato pancake kind of thing, right? Yes, yes, yes. And we got like the sweet potato pie, right? So. Oh, damn! So, that so uh, self confidence through the roof, right there, <laughs> as it should. Jared I, and I met Markel at the Triller Compound one day. I came over there with Indy, and he he was sitting down with a little bit of attitude on the couch. I could tell you, he was just scrolling through his phone, and he's like, "Oh, people always come over here. I know these are just random people." That's exactly uh, what I was thinking. That is so crazy because I'm like, "Who you the hell is me, this?" But little you didn't know anyone. Else. Right, and I'm like, who the hell is this little long neck ass <laughs> white boy standing in front of our house? And I was like, maybe he won't be here too long. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it was so crazy because that's my exact response and, to continue. And, and then somebody said, hey, where are you from? I said, I'm from Georgia. And then I just see Markel Popped look up. up from his phone like this. <laughs> what the part? Sass. What part? And I said, what part are you from? I, 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 He said, Brunswick. I said, don't lie. He said, I'm from Brunswick. Where are you from? I said, Brunswick. He said, prove it. I said, Marside Spuds. He said, <laughs> I'm so no no no. Okay, all right. We're gonna talk about this Marside Spud situation. Zach took me uh, to Marside's when we went to um, Georgia. We like we did all the little Georgian things, whatever. You never get the damn spuds. Okay, to to preface uh, the spuds at this restaurant. Well, no, 
Markel and I are from the same hometown, but never knew each other. Right. Which How the mean? hell is that a thing? And the fact that we both ended up in California, and I saw his little long neck ass sitting in my living room. If you say one, one more time, <laughs> you giraffe looking motherfucker. Yeah, right? no, you know, yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, yes, sit down with them potato salad. Damn. <laughs> but anyway, I had no idea that you were going to be from the same place as me. That was the last place I thought you said it. When you said it, I'm like, bitch, stop lying. You're, you, you thought you were going to hear Gwinnett or yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, like, I thought I was going to hear Gwinnett. Ned Cummings, Decatur, something nowhere near Brunswick. And then I said Marshside, and that's both of our favorite restaurants. And yes. you knew. Like, we both had our graduation parties there. Yes. We both had, like, birthdays there. That's crazy. Wait, how, how, how old are you, Mark? 23. Oh, so it was around. Yeah, we you were, were really living. close. You graduated 2016? Yep. Yeah. Wow. So you guys were living in the same No, he's since friends then? with, like, all of my friends. Yes, like, okay. Lauren. Um, you were talking, uh, you were telling me, uh, no, no, no. It was on your story. It was on your story, and we were looking at your story, and you're like, wait, I know all of them. They're, like, literally all my high school friends. Oh, yeah. like, it's so, so crazy that we have all the same mutuals, and I know we probably walked by each other on the beach before, and I was like, ooh, who that little long neck? <laughs> and I don't probably, um, so, oh, he said not to say it again. I thank, won't say it again. Thank you. But I, I, I will like, backhand you. Just <laughs> I was like, who that long neck is? <laughs> and we probably just never, like, Click because, like you said, that's my first go to to just be that dominant bad bitch at a room and like scan. That's and I me don't too. even write. I, I give off a really bad vibe. Like, I'm very closed off to new people. Right. And I think the reason why I clicked with you so fast when, like, because you were just like, Yes, bitch, I'm here. Let's play. And I was like, Period. okay. Like, you just look like you have good energy. And I think I told you that. That I was like, you have really good energy. You did. You're like, you make a statement in a room. And I love that about people. Like, I love when you just walk in and command and are like, I don't know any of y'all, but you're about to know me kind Hell of thing. So. That is true. No, but he goes back to South Georgia all the time. And he goes to yeah. all the restaurants I used to go to. And I but swipe you- up on his story every time. I'm like, why don't you get the spuds? You he get the does fries. it every time. And he literally told me. Markel, uh, excuse me. <laughs> so you went off the mic to prepare the burp, and then went back to the burp I in the mic. I thought the burp was going to come and happen over here, but it didn't, so I just came back to the mic to do it. Thank you. <laughs> and um, no problem. <clears throat> just bless you guys with the burp. That'll be $10. I'll take cash out, Zell, or anything you want. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Zach, literally, anytime I go to Marsai, he will literally swipe up, you need your ass beat. Why don't you have the spuds? I'm like, Zach, <laughs> the spuds are not busting. What? Whoa! No. What? Whoa. Wait, Markel, I gotta agree with you. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. Oh, I kept it a secret for so long. This but is a hate guys, crime. You guys flip out about yes, these funny spuds. So oh, these nasty ass potato pork skins are <laughs> shit. Exactly no, they are. they are so good with the honey mustard and the chicken tenders. Y'all can go f- yourselves. Yeah, I'm, no, not even, is, I'm not even from Georgia, and this f-ing hurts me. It's the sp- It's the fries and the chicken tenders. The chicken tenders the chicken are bomb. Tenders tenders are bomb. Are fine. Oh, yeah, okay. we can tenders, all agree yes. on that. Chicken but them nasty ass little pork skin potatoes. No, they're so, not. They're so good. There's just nothing special about them. It's they're a glorified s- French fry. <laughs> Thank you. And as it should be glorified, they're f-ing great. Jared, you're a glorified French fry. Look at you. <laughs> you know what? You little long neck ass. Yeah, period. You just steal his thing. His, Jared, his watch his yourself. Head. Remember, you live with him. Watch when my Hey, put your tongue back in your mouth. Put your tongue back in your mouth. (laughs) Jared's all fun and games. Why the hell do you laugh like that? What what fucking bird was that? Hold up. We got a fucking falcon in here. (laughs) Why does your tongue do that when you laugh? I don't know. Dude, if you were straight. If you were straight, straight, all the girls girls. would love you. Uh, Dude, dude, it's hard. Okay, in Brantley and in Brunswick and in South Georgia, it's hard enough being black and and gay. Like, how did you go? Like, how did you survive that place? Because I know what it was like to grow up there with just like my friends. Like, just he's a straight white male. Like, yeah. Like, how did you? Like, I'm sure there's a lot of like racist things and stuff like that. Like, do you have any stories or? No, not really. Brunswick was just. <coughs> well, I guess I'm from more like that's what where I was, I was from. It was, it was a little darker down there, right? I, I didn't well, a little opposite of Brantley? dark actually, but a little scary. <laughs> right, Wait, Brantley. Yes. Uh, where I used to live, I don't <laughs> want to like bad mouth them. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, that place you used to live. If I went there, I probably when it came back out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, jeez. <laughs> right. No, but um, honestly, just living in Brunswick, um, <clears throat> I. Just was always myself. 
I never like care what anybody else thought. So, but it also was easy. Marco got hands. So. Right, exactly. These are certified beaters. Rated Did you ever get in any everybody. fights in high school? Hello. Huh? Um, yes, I actually got on a fight. Who's um, your arch nemesis in high school? I don't really know because there no bitch could Try compete me. where they couldn't compare <laughs> at. You know facts. what I'm saying? That's so facts. it was like everybody tried, but like I would laugh at them hoes and say, "Fall back in line." <laughs> Because I was captain of the student section. I was homecoming king. Oh, I bet, I bet you were great in, in the cheer leagues. section. Yes. Like, you guys were playing in different leagues here. Right, exactly. Like, you can try, but you're, you're going to be at the top of your league, but not mine. Did you, Hello, go to, bitch. did you go to Brunswick High School or did you go to Glen Academy? Uh, Brunswick High. And let me tell you a funny story about that. I went to Brunswick High all four years, right? So, my the beginning of... of, of uh, oh, <laughs> not into the mic. We've talked about this That's twice. That's my mic, sorry, Marco. Sorry. <clears throat> There we go. <clears throat> COVID free now. So right. So I went to Brunswick High and um the beginning of senior year, I won Homecoming King. So then I was like, Well, Markel, you're so popular. What would be the most iconic thing you can do going through high school? So I had um Wait, what? <laughs> oh, <never mind>. okay. <laughs> I switched over to Glen Academy and I tried to win Prom King second semester. So I switched over there. Uh, Your senior you year, you switched, switched high schools just so you could win another. I swear, hand on the Bible, yes. <laughs> You trying to be a double monarch in the same you're, county? Wait, your summer, your your senior year, your most important year with all your friends, you switch. Yes. What so the I went hell? August through December to Bronzy High, and then I went January through February to Glen Academy. And then when I will, when I realized um, I couldn't win prom king at uh Bronzy, I mean Glen Academy because you had you to go back? there for all four years to be eligible. I switched back and won at Bronzy High. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yes! right? How yes! iconic Wait, is so that? How long? How long were you at Glenn? Two months. Two months, and then you said, "No, I probably can't wrap this up. Let's go back and then win it there." Yes, and then my senior superlatives. Everybody <laughs> literally was like, "Jesus, why am I doing it?" I had Taco Bell before. It's supposed to be coming out the other end, not my mouth. But I was like, um, I switched back, and then everybody was like, "What senior superlatives?" I mean, they started giving out senior superlatives. <clears throat> and I was like, what senior superlatives can I win? And they were like, oh, you're not all my school. And Greg was like, you're not winning, Markel. You literally switched senior year halfway and went to our rival school. There's no way you're winning anything. I won. You said, look <laughs> at my two crowns. <laughs> most school spirit, Mr. BHS, and best all around. And most two. humble, right? Nah, nah, I didn't win that one. So wait, <laughs> did you did you cheer, do competitive cheerleading in... Cause I saw, I've seen like videos of you like flipping. And You're was that really good. Gymnastics Thank or you, cheer? Sir. Um, I did competitive cheer. Um, really? I started. Yes, oh, I did. Awesome. I started my junior year in high school. I saw this little white host named Selena Overman. <laughs> she was flipping, <laughs> and um, she was like, uh, I was like, how do you do that? She was like, it's very hard. It's where like you can't do it. <laughs> And I literally, I'm that type of, I'm that type of person. Um, You said, hold my crown. (laughs) Right. Literally. I said, if they going to tell me I can't do something, I'm going to prove them wrong. So I started, I, my little getaway is we couldn't afford a trampoline. So I took my mattress from outside, I mean, inside the house and put it in the front yard and I was flipping on the mattress and I kept falling on my neck. But you know, when you're so determined, I'm like, fuck that little neck cramp. I'm going (laughs) to still go. So I got a back handspring and stuff like that. And then after I did that, I asked her, can I go to the gym? And she was like, yeah, I'll take you to practice. But we are like hardcore. So I was like, okay, I go to a practice and I start tumbling. And the coaches are like, who is this little boy over here thinking he's going to come do competitive cheer? So um, I was like, I wanted to do it so bad because I ended up falling in love with the sport. And when I just wanted to do it, just to be able to learn the thing that she did, I was like, okay, maybe if I can be – come good enough I can be an ex- a asset to the team and they'll have to need me or use me and literally after like four months I became the best in the gym at a <laughs> uh, running full and uh, I got to be on the level four team and I had got a scholarship for two years to cheer there and then I um, continued to cheer in uh, South Carolina for a year and then I moved to Miami and then back to Brunswick and then I commuted uh, in wait 20- so you went to college for cheer hell no <laughs> uh, wait the Oh, wait, it's, where is so the scholarship? Graduated. What kind of scholarship is not a school? It's, uh, you know how, like, they like, do. Like, they, you do, like, contracts at, like, some, like, it, I mean, this is how I know it works. Like, even at, like, dance schools, when you start getting into, like, competitive dance and cheer and all that, those things, a lot of the schools make you sign, like, contracts sometimes to, like, 
show because they you're an asset like you, it's a business you right. earn money like you you have to like be there on time so like contracts and like scholarships if you can't afford to pay for it or anything like that so yeah so you basically got like a scholarship to like a selective sport kind of thing. Yes, it's okay. like, it was like um, you know how <clears throat> they have the travel basketball teams, the travel baseball teams. Yeah, it's, it's like that. Oh, okay, that competitive. Makes sense. Yeah, you should see competitive cheer. Like um, what are they called? Uh, um, the best cheer school no, in the no, country. Like, uh, aren't they called like certain Kentucky? Things? They got the most like, national I mean, championships. Like cheer meets or something. Yes, like, yes, yes. Meets, yes. dude. I used to get. I got obsessed with watching this one TV show. Um, I think it was like cheer. Cheer. Like, yes. Cheer from cheer. Netflix. Yes. Cheer from yeah, Netflix. Yeah, Jared. That Bro, show that we they watched. would make them. Yes, when I tell you, show. they would make. make watch it. Yeah, we did. They cheer. They would make Name them character. cry, bro. Ashley, John. There is no Ashley on there. On the cheer team. That sounds like blasphemy. They would make them cry, <laughs> cry, cry. Like they would be screaming. Like if you guys have ever seen that, um, uh, I, I don't know if it's a vine sound or I don't know if it's a sound, but it's like in five, six, seven. Ashley, get oh, your shit together, Patricia. Patricia. Yeah, I have heard that. That was bad. Do it again, sweetie. Come on. Like it's exactly like that, and you're literally watching this, going, "That can't be healthy," but I'm gonna keep watching. Exactly, like, and I'm dance moms for cheer. Like, literally. And it's, it's so like, great. you used to always hate your coach. And I'm like, why does little bird mouth, funky, <laughs> fat fupa having ho keep yelling at me? <laughs> but it's like, funky <laughs> fupa having ho. It's li- it worked out because I'm like, they doing it because they love you and they love the sport and they know you have the potential uh-huh. to exceed the limits that you think you're capable of. And I was like, no, I can't do no damn toe touch standing full or nothing like that. And they're like, Mark Hall? Get your shit together. You can do it. <laughs> Five. Here we go. And they would count me in and all my teammates. Let's get Marco. You got it. You got it. And I'm over there. Hit. Oh. And I would land in it. See, I told you. Now fall in line and do it again. You have to send us some videos so we can include it in yeah. the thing. I would love to. Yeah. Oh, yeah that would be I'm awesome. I'm the truth when it comes to your bitch. Like, do you, you still do it? Uh, I. It was so cool, actually. In um, February, I have not competed in a year. And one team needed a fill in, and uh, it was at a national competition in Atlanta. Shut the hell and, up. And um, I literally, after I moved here or started doing social media a little bit, I stopped cheering or whatever. And um, especially when COVID started, they just canceled all the cheer competitions. So we stopped cheering um, last year, March. And I did not have a competition again. So then this year, they were like, Markel, we're going to nationals, and we need another boy who can throw eight running fulls. And I'm like, bitch. I have not flipped since last year. And I was like, but the experience might be fun. And um, I was like, okay, I'll take on the offer. So I literally flew to Atlanta. And um, I literally learned the routine backstage in warm-ups. Wow. In 10 what? minutes. I swear on everything. But mind you, I did fuck up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, remember the choreography. And I was like, it was time to go to jumps. And I had the best jumps on the team, of course. <clears throat> <laughs> you guys, yeah, did you already Humble. you already knew that? Uh, figured yeah. you did. So I had the best jumps on the team, and I went to the center, and I was like coming up there to just like I was smiling big, and I'm like, oh shit, fuck it up, and then I'm going over, there and I'm like, oh wait, what the fuck were the motions? <laughs> and I turn around and look at the girls because they've been um, practicing for like six months now. So I turn yeah, around, spend, to, they spend like all year rehearsing these national like yes, all, like and they say, can I get you here for a weekend? Dude, it's not oh, like right. it's not some like little like. A minute routine where you're literally like, here's the cartwheel, here's the handstand, let's go. Like these routines are like in depth, like like, and they're like five minute routines, aren't yep. they? Like they're really like, dude, I loved watching cheer, and like I wish I could do that shit, but holy, like it was. Intense. You, we should do that once you one day. You're teach so I, mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't think I could shake ass, so maybe you could teach me how to flip. Hello, that I'm would be so, so cool. Sick. You're so small, and it's a little bit easier for girls. Well. In some aspects, because, like, y'all, uh, rotator cuff is, I don't even know what the fuck Oh, that's is. in your shoulder, but we'll keep going. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> your center of gravity, that's what I meant to go. say. That 2.1 showing. Oh! <laughs> it's higher You got than jokes. Lower. Like, our center is Yes, higher. it's um <laughs> lower than ours, so mm-hmm. it's like, I don't even know what the fuck I was going with that. You're just tiny as hell, so I know you could cheer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you went from cheer master in, what, two or three states you went double king in two in one high school, almost two high schools. How did you go from that to living in L.A. and doing what you're doing now? So, oh, that's a good giraffe neck. I love that. You got a great question. <laughs> um, hey, say one more thing. And we'll, 
I'll take you to Bradley County. I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> um, but so I started, um, I was working at Subway and then. Um, Ooh, eat oh, fresh. we love Subway. Y'all we do? eat there like twice a week. Real, that's literally me. I don't upgraded a little bit though. Uh, Subway is for the broke bitches. What do you, what do you eat now? <laughs> I eat Jersey Mike. Ew, I hate Jersey oh, Mike. I thought you were about to say Jimmy John's or something. No, I, I fucking hate Jimmy John's. That's what them extra whoa. bougie no, bitches go. No, oh. I, I don't oh, like so Jersey there's Mike's. there's tears to it. So that's too bougie. You're you're just under it. Yeah. yeah, you like to be a, like kind you know, of a part of the people. Low key, what if y'all if we on the same page from Subway? What sub do y'all like? What's your favorite sub? Oh, I build my own. Yeah, build my own. Do you? I like a chicken with a ranch. I don't know what that means. Chicken bacon ranch is Chicken good. bacon okay. ranch, my nigga. <laughs> Whoa. Never been called that before. It makes you feel good. Uh, let's move on. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. So I did two Subway commercials, and one of them I had to eat the sweet onion teriyaki. One of them I had to eat the chicken bacon ranch. I don't like bacon, and I don't like ranch, but it actually wasn't bad at all. Period. It okay, wasn't bad I'm at here all. for that. Dude, I wish I would could go back in time, because Markel's got all this attitude now. I wish I could go back to when he's working at Subway and just order the worst sandwich. You just sitting there for 10 <laughs> oh minutes. Oh, my oh, yeah. God, bitch. Wait, that I, yeah, is so old. What's the worst sandwich? The worst sandwich you ever had to make. Listen, y'all. Okay, that is a great question. <laughs> He's like, this still haunts me to this day. <laughs> this we'll go back day. to how we'll go back to how you ended up moving to LA from but Subway. No, Subway's more but important. I, I need to hear this story. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't yeah, open that, my mouth. Well, that one was wet. That one I didn't open like my mouth. But you need to apologize to Jared. So, <laughs> sorry, Jared. That was Jared from yeah. Subway. No, full, I was trying circle. to. I was go trying ahead. to. The jury commercial. It can only be Jared. Oh, but I tried okay. to, yeah, he's too stupid to catch the <laughs> joke. You didn't catch but, the Jared joke, Jared from Subway. There is no Jared from Subway. Yes, there oh, wait, is. You what? Don't know that's, about the, that? that's the guy that touched you, kids at Subway. He was like the face of Subway. He was like the, face, like of the face of Subway. Like he lost like 200 pounds from just eating Subway every day. So it was the face of it. And then it came out that and he And you like, work there and you don't know your history? Dude, Are you out, kidding me, Mark? Jared from Subway, it came out that he'd like been like, he had like molesting loads kids, of child porn. Loads of child porn and molesting kids and all that. And he was like a family friendly, friendly brand. And so Subway had to completely rebrand. No, see, I would have never. Oh, my Lord. I don't know. See, I didn't think. <laughs> he said, see, I, I don't even want to comment on that. Hello, Jer- <laughs> okay, anyway, I want to hear the same <laughs> story. <clears throat> Jesus, take the wheel. So, um, basically, um, what they did was uh, they got the, uh, what you laughing at, ho? What's so <laughs> funny? Jerry Lewis and Nick is about to get karate kicks from all the way over here. What is out of rhythm curls? It's What's just, up? It's just, Hello. It's just funny because you have this like, the, you click whenever you're thinking. <laughs> it just hits like Tourette's. This? It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, put that tongue back in your mouth. Put your slithering ass. Put the damn tongue back in your damn mouth. We got Hufflepuff and Slytherin over here. <laughs> okay. So, I forgot what it's called, dude. I'm literally, I thought I remember, but I know what it's called. It's a, um, how could I say I forgot that I know what it's called? Anyways, wait. Dude, I want to put your tongue on a lure and catch your, and catch your shoes. <laughs> Show them your shoes. Lift it up. And the fish flops. He got everyone a pair for Christmas. <laughs> Did you Thank really? You, Andy, yes. yes. Can you see that in frame, Jared? Yeah, a little lower. A little lower. A <laughs> little lower. There you there go. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. What are their names? Um, fish and flop. Zach and Jared. <laughs> oh, yeah. It reminds me of like the McDonald's like fish fillet commercials where he's like I sitting on the fish. wall and you would sing. Oh, no. Yeah, I realized I could. <clears throat> anyway. So what this sub consisted of was roast beef, turkey, and ham. It's a, um that doesn't sound bad. No, it's not. It's um roast beef, turkey, and ham, and it's triple meat. So basically, what it is, they get double meat. So we already put three pieces on there. Triple meat. That sounds like a Ew. fever dream of a Saturday night That's for you, a lot right? Of meat. <laughs> Let's move on though. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so they got double the meat, and they um they they got six. <laughs> this is Markel's first time in our apartment. He just turned his butt towards us and just absolutely let a, a first time on a podcast too, and just farted <laughs> farted in Indy's face. He which, said, oh, here we go. <laughs> I really that hope sounded that, that yeah that was wet, and I hope that that's just Taco Bell for y'all hoes. Don't eat it. Okay, so they got double the meat. So they got six pieces of roast beef. We're just rolling back pieces, into the story, okay? Six, six pieces of ham. I can taste you now, but let's go on. Six pieces of ham, 
six pieces of roast beef and six pieces of turkey. So the meat was thick on the bread. So then they got double cheese. They got provolone and American. And we already put four pieces. So that's eight pieces of cheese on there. So I, um, do you want to toast it? Yes, sir. So I put it in the toaster. Now, mind you, any sub worker knows you're supposed to put the circular objects on there first. So if they were to order uh, tomatoes and cucumbers, you put those on there first because the lettuce is uh, easier to, like, filter on there. Lettuce, spinach, whatever. So I take it out. I asked the guy, sir, do you want, because I knew it was already thick, and I was like, sir, do you want to put the uh, tomatoes and uh, cucumbers on? Do you want any of that? No, don't want them. Can I have extra lettuce, extra lettuce, spinach, so I'm loading the lettuce on there and the spinach. And I thought that was going to be it. Um, can I have some bell peppers, pickles, um, banana peppers, <laughs> you name it, all of this stuff. And I'm trying to keep it a little more. And I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, damn it. All right. I'll take the tomatoes and cucumbers. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So it was already so hard to try to damn... Like it was the damn meat was falling off the bread. That was so spread they, open like Jared's mom on a oh, which Wednesday one? afternoon. The, which one? Which one? <laughs> I got two moms. Come on, two moms. I'm here for one. My mama had two daddies. Well, no, I had two daddies because my mama got with two men. Yeah. That okay, part. that's that's a different than two moms. But go ahead. Right. Um. So then he asked for the cucumbers and uh tomatoes, and there was no room left on the sub. So now the shit is overflowing and I'm getting nervous. Cause I'm like, how the hell am I finna try to close this sub without like pissing him off? Cause they get so pissed when the veggies start falling off the sub. So then, um, I get the tomatoes and I just got them Do sitting on sauce? there. Yep. I, I get the tomatoes and I got them sitting on there. Oil and vinegar. Can oh. I have some mayo? Bitch, why you ain't tell me mayo and mustard before I started? Now the damn mayo sitting on top of the cucumbers and tomatoes. I hate that they, okay, the way the subway is set up, why do you always ask for, like, why is sauce last? Right. I always, every time I go to subway, I'm literally like, can I get Chipotle Southwest? And then I go in veggies and then I go lettuce. Yes, exactly. You want The your, way you're meant to do that. I've Thank never you. Put your sauce that. on the bread. Sauce on the bread because then the like it's just better and it's neater and it's not gonna get everywhere. You, have, right. you guys have and such then conviction. Lettuce, about that. <laughs> no, no, lettuce is like a filler. Lettuce is like a filler. Right. It's like it's just like you put it in there because like lettuce, right? right? It doesn't taste like get it. It's a just there. Crunch to it. Get a little crunch. You put veggies first. Plus, if you put more veggies, you get less lettuce, and then you get more veggies. So then I um <clears throat> did the mayo and mustard, and it's just sitting on top of the sub, and I go to close it, and you got this little trick when you bounce it, bounce the uh, sub. Like oh, that's the, where you learned to twerk. Yeah. Kinda, I started jumping with the... <laughs> yeah, you started with those buns and you worked onto your own body. I got Period. you. Period. I made a jet like that. So <laughs> then I tried to take the knife and I tried to slice the tomatoes and like just press it down while I was pressing the sandwich. But then I was... Oh, jeez. I'm a... I was... Pr- <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the sad boy, Mike. Okay, so I was closing the sub and um, it started f- breaking apart and I closed it and then... Jerry, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Dude, sit your ass down. <laughs> you just gonna stand up in the middle of my sub stand story like that. So um I went to fold the bread and that shit ripped in half. And then now mind you, I'm like trying to look at him to see if he saw it rip, and I'm like, You see me see you, saw me just fuck yourself up. And then he was like, You're gonna remake that, aren't you? So I had to remake the sub and um I did it the correct way because I knew everything he wanted, and then it still didn't close. And then what I did this time, I didn't try to press the sub together because I knew it was going to rip. You just wrapped I just, it up open. Period. Yeah. Wrapped that bitch up open, and he can deal with it when he got home. <laughs> Man, he can deal with it when he got home. Ew, that's a lot. Right. So a- from the subway days, um, I went um, further on to uh, the owner of Subway's wife's boutique, and we sold, we sold, is it sold or sold? Sold. 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 We sold flowers. 2.1 2. coming through. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up home and get this mic off. <laughs> um, if you if you toot one more time okay. in my studio, I'm gonna try my best not to. No promises. So, uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mark Hell. Sorry, I'm y'all. I'm trying to focus. This why ass. did you have yes, Taco X? Bell before this? I don't know, and I'm like, you better be looking at no damn Mickey D's because that's what I wanted, but. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait, be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cute little one. Right, that was a cute little Dude, If you came in here ripping ass. 
Like, at least you can't. Okay, it's not the best thing, but at least you can't smell it. Right, and it's, it should be traveling. I ain't got drawers on to hold your bag. <laughs> You going commando right now? <laughs> yeah, I've been going commando. Right now. You, you got you got nuts it's against summer, denim, bro. I'm yeah. not trying to have be all sweaty. Oh, why? Who wears underwear nowadays? No one. Thank you. Are you wearing I, underwear right now? Are you kidding me? Dude, it's summer, bro. It's sweaty. I don't want to like. Wear Thank underwear. you. Hello, they hold you back Come too. Come back and be nasty. Hello, and uh, draws hold you back. You NBA to shake yams how you want to. Off- Facts. Plus, it's also plus you hear a better clap. Right, exactly. Um, also, it's better when you for girls to like go commando because it's like more. Like, you don't. You're not as prone room. to like yeast infections and stuff because like you should only like women should. No, only be, you guys a, need to. There's only a sh- clam and hot dog on display. So yes, I worked at the Rose and Vine. I love how we like take little story breaks and then I get back to my story. Of yeah, go back how to the I came story. To well, LA. I want to hear the story. You need Sorry. a tissue? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Why is it a trash bag when it's like, y'all so good over here? <laughs> anyway. Why, why you got to expose us like that? No one knows that. We need a, we need a dimmer. <laughs> we got fucking pterodactyls in here. Not the ghetto tree in here. And these hoes think they bougie because they, Alexa, turn off light. <laughs> No, no, Ale- Alexa can turn on anything and turn off anything. But anyway, I worked at the Rose and Mine. <laughs> I forgot the story still going. I worked right. at the Rose and Mine. I worked at the Rose and Mine, and we sold roses. Well, we sold flowers in general, wine, and um. I thought your ass was about to say we sold roses and cheese, vines. Chocolate. <laughs> no, we yeah we sold a whole nine yards. And could you guys guess what my uh guess what my um <clears throat> sometimes I would have to dress up and go deliver the flowers. What was I? What were you? Yeah. A fl- delivery a boy? flower? What? No, Wait, I, what do you they, mean? They, they didn't make me, but I was the only <laughs> one who was, like, good at the job. So I would have to dress up and deliver um, flowers and candy and chocolate on people's birthdays. Like a costume? Yeah. What costume? Were you, were you a rose? Were you a grape? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jared, you graduated with a three-something? <laughs> I was thinking you said rose and vine, like wine. So I was thinking like grapes, like wine. I don't know. This should be an easy answer, guys. A flower? No. <laughs> what were you? I was Lucky the Love Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. no. I swear. I swear. No. I was lucky the Whose love. Whose idea money. was that? That's my boss's. And what color was she? White. That's a problem. <laughs> right, right. That's what I literally I was like, why the fuck do I have to dress up Did as a monkey? Did you tell them that? No, because I was getting paid fifteen dollars an hour, so I'm like, oh, damn, fifteen dollars an hour. A monkey? They can't oh, pay you. Oh, that's racist. I mean, it, that, I, I, do you reckon <laughs> they knew it was racist though? No, 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 because it was it was a white hoe doing it before me. It was, okay, uh, yeah, so they're just like this. I don't know. When they showed they, you the costume, were they just like? No, they the it was a white girl. She was doing it before me, but she ain't do shit extra. I was over there trying to damn. So you just doing back handsprings? Yeah, with I, the I swear, with the monkey suit on. <laughs> they probably did the didn't. They spring. probably didn't think it was. They, no. I mean, they probably didn't understand that that was racist, and that was like definitely not. But okay. now that we know, well, I don't. Do y'all think it was racist? I think. Well, it's, I not think, if okay. they if they gave if they bought it for you and were like, hey, this is your new this job. This is your new that's job. Racist. That's racist. But right. if they had someone doing it. Yeah, before, they had it doing it before they me. Had someone, but also, I. It's also the thing of like. Did you ever get any looks from the customers? It's, like, it's also the bitch, thing. Bitch, did I? <laughs> Imagine I had to go in public businesses, banks, all of that, Walmart sometimes, and I'll be a black bitch dressed in an ace <laughs> costume. In and South I'm, Georgia. Yes, yes. Imagine that. And then I'm like, please, nobody know it's me. <laughs> Don't know it's me. Did you Wait, have like did a, you have like a, a mask? mask? Yes, like, I had a mask. Oh, okay. But they did a fucking commercial. Hey guys, I'm Markel Watson. I'm, I work at the Rosemont and I'm lucky to love monkey. <laughs> if you guys please want tell me, you have the footage of that. Do you have yes. pictures of this? Oh my Wait. God, send it to us, Hold please. On. Let I, me see. This is the thing. It's like, it's racist if they knew the, the terminal, like they if they knew it was racist, but it's also could be like a lack of education. Like it could be a lack of like, yeah. you know what I mean? So right. it's like, if, if they didn't know that that was racist, then like it's not yeah. necessarily racist. Like it's just, it's just no kind of like if, if it. it's not necessarily racist, it's just a little bit like well, it's like that, you're a little bit ignorant kind of thing. I it's like right. a little bit like uh, you clearly don't know. Just and it's a white it. bitch doing it now after I have left. <laughs> <laughs> Are they still got the costume? Yes. You still <laughs> one keep size up with fits all. What? You still keep up with Rose and Vine? Yeah, <laughs> I still keep up with the most. So I was delivering. 
And um, I started making videos with the owner's daughter. Her name's Chatham. And we just started doing it because everybody else did it. And I would... Um, <laughs> So this is recent. This is a year ago. You were yes, there. yes, oh. literally this was just um, a year ago. I, I forget yes. that you. I, I really do forget that you were so new to the because you're so big. You are so big on TikTok now, and it's like I really genuinely forget that you are so new to this industry. Yeah, like you were literally living a decently normal life as a flower delivery boy a year. Literally, ago. that's crazy. Literally, I um started now August of 2019. Tesla. Hello, <laughs> part. I was uh, August of 2019. I started and um. Around September, I had like 50K, and I was like, holy shit, that's so cool on TikTok. And um, I started doing videos with Chatham, and um, around October 18th, I had like 70,000. So then I went to Myrtle Beach Safari. The, the guy who's in, uh, y'all ever watched Tiger King? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Doc Anto, who had like seven girlfriends. <laughs> I went to his safari, and I made a video with a cheetah. And that video was my first pop-off video. I got like 23 million views. Wait, what was the video? Like, what'd you do? I was, a cheetah was literally laying on the kitchen counter in their house. And I was just dancing next to it. And then I did the whoa. And I reached back and I like did the whoa. Like, oh shit, that was dusty. That's not my whoa arm. (laughs) But I like reached back and like did that. And the cheetah was like, it jolted back. And then it was like. Wait, I want to see this video. I got that one. You post a lot though. I was I got, like, I um, cannot scroll. Yeah. Uh, can you uh, airdrop it to Jared? Because I want to see this video. Yes, 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 yes. So um, after that, I went from 70,000 in October to uh, 500,000 in um, November. Damn. Holy shit. Oh. Uh, the right. Che- the cheetah was it. not having it. It was not. That's my favorite. And animal. it was. Mine too. Oh, said, shit. What? Marvel. Girl, I was so terrified. <laughs> It was the Wait, scariest send that, uh, thing. Send that to Jared so he can. Um. Okay. So I did that and I got 500K in November and then I got 700K in December. And I was like, holy shit. I, my goal was to hit a million by 2020 of January 1st. And I wanted to do it on New Year's. And I was like, I can do this. I can do this. Tell me why the fuck I got shadow banned. <laughs> oh. And it literally set my ass at 900K for a month. What'd you get shadow banned for? I don't even know. No, you don't? Like, they literally just made me, my pose go, Neah. They were like, oh, he's that growing happens. too like, fast. Like, yes. does that, and it's so annoying. Like, there was, like, a solid amount of time where I grew 250K a week. A week. Right. Like, a week, and then it was, like, like yeah. light switch. So that video popped off. Yes. And then, and then New Year's came, and I was at, like, 930, and I was like, oh, my Lord, I can do this. Like, come on. I, I need a video to pop. And I did not hit it on New Year's, but I did hit a million January 4th. Okay, oh, so, that's still pretty good. Yeah. So I did it January 4th, and then April. So what what, wait, what content were you doing that you grew 70,000 in three days? Was it all dance videos and stuff like that? No, I did original sounds. I always used to do skits and stuff like that. That was, like, what I knew best. And I was yeah. like, that. me and Chatham could do a video, and it would literally go stupid viral for no reason really it was just when me it was she, she was a little white girl and i just i think they like the big brother little sister interracial type thing or whatever mm-hmm. and they just saw a black boy and a white girl and they're like we love it we support it <laughs> we they're support funny it. <laughs> they're uh, they're somewhat funny some of them hoes would say and they would just like it and blow it up and yeah. it was it just freaking blew up i think that was the thing that's literally how zach and i blew up as well it's right like we used to do the whole brother sister thing we're not siblings we never have been but right. you're you from know, two different countries from two different countries Period. but people people were like yeah it seems right <laughs> but whatever um so we started doing like Period. <laughs> we started doing like skits and stuff like that uh-huh. and that's really what like blew us up like one of our most viral videos i think accumulated like 150 million views holy fuck like it was insane like every major meme site posted it it got a couple million like i think it got like 10 million on my page one of our videos got like 22 million or something yeah like we yeah we we, yeah, got, we just started getting back into it and like yeah. we filmed like a video the other day and like the fun thing like our like i'm sure with your skit videos like it doesn't feel like work it feels like At we're all. actually having it fun. was just really right. fun to like f around and just make fun videos and then i kind of got into like a really bad headspace with like social media and stuff like that and we stopped doing them and it literally only like a week ago we started doing them again because i was like i miss that like i miss content creating and doing things that i love and they're really stupid videos but they're right. really just fun and like people can tell that we just have a good relationship and they're like oh that's funny and that's cute like i might try that with my friends or I just enjoy watching people having a good fun time. So. Right. And that's that was my whole outlook on it. Like, 
like you said, Zach, when I make fun videos and original sounds, it's not work. It's just us mm -hmm. having fun and something I would have already done. And that's what my thing is. When I try to create content, I never go out of my way to think about a concept or anything like that. And yeah, that's probably I should probably do that more. I don't fucking know. But <laughs> um if anything pops up, like say for instance, somebody cracks a joke, I'm like, holy shit, that'll be fun for a TikTok. Let me ask everybody around the house. And that's how I literally make my content like um I remember, the freaking remember, Kelly and Pill ones so, were so, so funny. Right? So and it's funny. like, bitch, it's just like, I look, she was talking about taking her birth control, and I was just like, oh, shit, that'd be funny for TikTok, because I know y'all always talking about having kids and stuff like that. And you're like, you better take your damn pill, bitch. Exactly. And it's just like, it, it started with the pamper video when I had found pampers in her car. And I was like, what, what? is this for? Yeah. it was, And it wasn't was even- Was it for a, Chase's kids? No, it wasn't even for her. I was going to say, they're like, grown. Oh, oh. Um- Pause and Just let's close go. Close your eyes and go to sleep. Loading. <laughs> but um, no, they, I think they were actually from Taylor. They were from Taylor because he had a shitty booty that day. What? The, Wait, the, what? The twins. The twins had got a uh, oh, laxative. They put, no, that was actually really bad. They like put sh like laxative like in his a brownies. lot, a lot of laxatives in his brownies. But like that really messes up your stomach for like a couple of days. If you yeah. don't know you're taking it, you're meant to drink a lot of water. Right. And he other, didn't drink water. He never drinks water. He drinks soda, period. Like it's all he drinks. And, and they like, tried to tell him, Taylor, drink water, drink water. And Zach Clayton also did the laxative but too, he but he knew, drank but he water. Knew. He drank a lot and of water. he was good he the knew. next day. Taylor was fucked up for the Taylor, like, two like, days. Taylor was in like, pain like it was oh. bad so he yeah. was just the videos releasing. got taken down i think because huh? it was like His body was just releasing for two days yes that's and then that's disgusting. why they got the pampers and i just thought it was good because i'm like i control kelly and chase because they got these pampers but they're like big ass human sizes but i'm like they don't the audience don't know that yeah. i didn't so, know that i thought they were baby exactly so um i went in there and threw it at her whatever but that's literally my whole thought process. I'm like, don't try to go out of my way to try to make content because it will stress you out. Yeah. And I want to stay in love with it as much as I can. And I feel like the audience responds best to most authentic videos. Yes, yeah. Yeah. If exactly. If you sit there for hours and are like, I need to make something viral, it's never going to be good. And that's the funny thing. When you actually sit there and think about it, that shit don't pop. But mm -hmm. when you do some shit that's just out of the spur of the moment, that shit will pop. Like, mm -hmm. I did a lawnmower video the other day when I was just cranking my ass cheek and it got <laughs> fucking that 25 million. That was hilarious. I'm like, but it was literally, Indy, I had saw it on, um, Freaking my for you page, and it was somebody who didn't have yams to shake one of the Jareds, and um <laughs> I was like, oh hell no, let me show them how to properly do it, and I had did it, and it literally went stupid viral. I was like, are you kidding me? Do you have like a like? Do you set up like your week or your day? Like how many times you try to post a day or a week? Um, I try to post at least three or four times a day. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. And it's a lot, right? It's, and usually what I'll do, I'll post two original sounds and then one dance. Because my dance videos, I'm like, I'm a somewhat good dancer, but most of them won't pop off. Like, it's so crazy. So I'll, uh, how I got it filtered. And then that's how I do my sound promos as well. Because, um, like, when it's, it's going to make a bad. Exactly. That's how I do mine, too. And I'll, I'll put the sound promo in the middle. And then the two original sounds would ge generate views to the sound promo, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's so smart. I'll wake up at 9. I mean, I'll wake up at 8.30. And it's so freaking Awful, because I hate waking up that early, but my <laughs> body is is self-alarm clock, and I wake up at 8.30, I'll post one TikTok at 9, another one at 12, and then another one at 3.45. Okay, there he <laughs> is. There he is. They sound like they hurt. No, they don't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you notice, like, is there a time that usually works best for any of your videos? Like, oh, usually the 3.30s do better than Yes, the, the 3.45s. Oh, they do better? Right. Yep. Yeah. Oh. And they will I'm go take far. notes now. <laughs> yeah. So you, try, do you, you save your best video for them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It'll generate views to the other. Exactly. Because it that'll be the last video I'll post that day, and then they'll be like, "Oh shit, that was extra interesting." And people who don't follow me, they'll go to my page and then watch the uh, anything the else I two. have posted that day, and they'll uh, like generate views for those videos. <laughs> and it's like an easy little. Thing okay. I got going okay. On. So let's go back to what is it? January with a million. Then how do you go from that to living in the Triller compound? So yeah. yes. How um, did you get in contact with Taylor and all that? I can't. Um, started. Coming out to LA in January after I hit a million, I got a million January fourth and got verified January seventh. Her, Dang. and um, yeah, it was just January was my month. So getting then, verified on TikTok is one of the hardest things. Right, as well. exactly. It's not easy. At like all. they just don't verify people anymore. It took me forever. That's yeah. cute. That's cute. <laughs> it took me three days. Right, three days. 
But after that, I and y'all, this was like um, the craziest thing. I wanted to collab with some people in the Hype House, and I did a, I duetted their video. Because you were friends with Hype House people before you were friends with Taylor. Them. No, Hype actually, um, Taylor, I was friends with Taylor before. Oh, he I was, li- was he, li- he was living at Hype still, wasn't he? No, this was when he was in North Hollywood at that really? apartment. Yes. Oh, he's right down the street. Yes, Taylor. yes. Because I've known Taylor four or five years, uh-huh. and like I've known him even before that place and then even before the place that he was in before that place. Like I've known but him. I've known him for like about a year and like a year and a half now. Mm. I started, um, I came out here one time and during the summer last time and I met him from my friend Brittany. And then, um, I just stayed in contact with him. He was like, dude, you're funny as fuck. Take my number down. And anytime you come, just hit me up. So anytime I would come to LA, I would try to meet up with Taylor. And then I, I had like 20 K on instant and I still had a meal. So I, um, came out and I was like, my goal was to collab with some people from Hype. And even though I didn't know them, I was just like, I'm going to meet Charlie and Addison. And I'm like, boy, how the hell are you going to do that? <laughs> but I shot with this guy named Jordan Matter. He's a, a mm-hmm. YouTuber. Yeah. And he does the uh, photography. And he and does stuff. like the, isn't it like the, the five minute, minute challenge? 10 minute challenge. Yeah. He like does 10 minute photo shoots and like makes these crazy photos. Yeah. Out of it's him. insane. I don't know how he does it. Mm-hmm. But with me being cheering, the best jumper in the program, <laughs> Jordan was like, he wanted to take some photos. So I was like, okay, dude, cool. So we went down to Santa Monica and I came out to LA. And um, we shot, all my tumbling buddies were there. We did our shoot, and I was getting ready to go back to Georgia, and I saw Jordan post on his Instagram story, I'm meeting up with Charlie D'Amelio and Addison Ray tomorrow at Santa Monica Pier. What are some TikTok, um, TikToks that I can uh, ask them to do in public? I just slid up and was like, try, like on a leap of faith, because I'm like, this was like my first or second time meeting Jordan, and I was like, there's no way he's going to let me tag along on this. So, um. I was like, Jordan, uh, I'm a TikToker, and I know all the dances. Is there any way I can come help you? And I was like, just kidding, blah, 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 like, period, dot, dot, dot. (laughs) And then he was like, actually, Markel, that'll be a great idea. How about you come along? I was like, holy, yeah, that was the kick to the career start. And that's why I'm like, never hold back. You have a closed mouth does not get fed. Exactly. I have learned that. You don't get what you don't ask for. Exactly. And, like, what's the worst that's going to happen? They say no, you don't meet them. Big deal. Period. Exactly. So, and I'm like, what what is my plan and what's destined for me is going to happen. And it was so crazy because I do edit Charlie them video uh, January 17th. It's literally still on my TikTok, January 17th. And I met them January 27th, wow. 10 days Damn. apart. And um, so I get there and I'm like, okay, don't fanboy. Um, play it cool. So I'm standing there. You said, I'm a, I'm, I got two crowns actually. So, Period. <laughs> so I'm scanning a room. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So Jordan gets all of us in the circle, and he's like, Markel, just follow my lead. I'm like, all right, I got your lead. <laughs> and I try to, like, shuffle in front of him. And uh, Charlie and Addison was sitting on the ground stretching because they're both um, – they did competitive dance as well, and they were getting ready for the shoots and stuff like that. So um, Taylor and the other uh, guys were there, and um, – they were like, okay, we're going to do this 10-minute challenge on Santa Monica Pier and blah, blah, blah. And it was just amazing energy. And you know me. I bring the energy. Yes. Oh, yeah. um, and they dull. freaking was But like, I think that's oh. also the reason why you click so well with people. It's like, yeah, cool. You have followers. You're really sick. But at the end of the day, and you're like, great. Like, I'd love to get contact with you. I'd love to, like, be included in your group, da, 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 da. But at the end of the day, if they sucked as people and you hated them and you were like, eh, you're kind of just bitchy, you'd be like, I got what I need to buy. Like right. the reason why you hang around people is because you're like, oh, they're actually decent, and I bring energy, and you bring everyone up, and it's like all just good vibes. Where does that yeah. energy come from? Because you don't drink any like, sp- like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like Red Bull or anything like that? Or no, yeah. no. So I went to Santa Monica. <laughs> Jesus, we keep doing that. You went to Santa Monica. <laughs> vibes are good. What is happening? Over I don't there? know. Uh, what is? I'm so weird. How often were you in timeout as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> Often, yep. They give you two crowns for what? What? They felt bad, didn't they? Oh, that's what it was. What? They oh, he got sympathy crowns? votes. No, bitch. Just I was what? just that bitch. I'm just asking which bus you rode. That's all I'm asking. The long bus. Okay. Like your neck. You should have said that. Oh, oh, damn. That would have been good. I ain't think about that. Your neck look like this mustard bottle. Though. No, you, you can't. You already lost uh, it. You already lost. It. Okay, so yeah, I went to Santa Monica Pier. <laughs> My ass is hurting. I gotta not sit on it. What? You went to Santa Monica. I went to. (laughs) He said. Right. What am I? (laughs) 
I went you to look Santa like Monica a goat. Pier. It's like a goat. Kellyanne wanted a goat for her birthday. I couldn't get it. What the f? A hey. pygmy goat that does yoga. Hey, ADD twins. You went to Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some boss ass shit. <laughs> I tried to think of an abbreviation for ADD, but I... Why Jerry started jigging over there? <laughs> bitch, yeah. I'm over here jigging to some body yada yada. Yeah. Hey, and Jerry... That song plays in my head 24-7. It plays in our head, but uh, Jerry started yada. trying to dance, and he was just... I know what song was playing. I know he's he was, he was dancing to... Don't Sweet you worry about a thing. Because <laughs> every little thing... It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be all right. right. That was literally Santa Monica. your vibe. Santa Monica, bitch. I went Santa to- Monica. <laughs> I went to Santa Monica. Why One more time. You, I'm gonna why, take your why teeth you, out. Why are you comparing your neck to this little black thing? I just saw you lean over like this. If you don't tell me what happened to Santa Monica right now. Okay, Jerry, sit your whistle neck ass down. <laughs> <laughs> With them damn dry, no, no damn long ass white socks. Exactly, on. you got them damn hyperventilated <laughs> nurse socks. Anyway, the circulation socks. <laughs> Let's go. Let me stop for a booger fly on this damn mic. That's my mic. I'm gonna have to wipe that shit off. Jared, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> you stand stop up one reading. more time. <laughs> exactly. You stop standing up. You stop hissing into the mic, and you stop body yada yada. Okay, what happened at Santa Monica? I went to Santa Monica Pier, and um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> dude, I'm fighting all of you in here, right, bitch. Right we'll now. jump you on site. Yeah, Andy, you pop do that a nigga flip. in the neck. Pop that nigga in the neck. Camera's Andy. about to die. Well, it's not. It's <laughs> not okay. Well, if you stop moving, my nigga, you'll be in focus. Mm-hmm. So I went to Santa Monica Pier, and we did the video, and literally, I became best friends. With Heidi, because me and her was on the back side, and everybody else was Heidi, 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 Heidi. Hey, hey. Focus, dude. I'm going to try to tell this story for the past 30 minutes. I apologize. Minutes. That has been my fault. Thank you. Damn. Niggas with long necks can't get their vowels up. I just like that he calls me a certain name. Makes me feel good. Oh, my Lord. The fact that it makes him feel good is Right. Concerning. It's just, I know it's harder for him to talk sometimes, so it's... Like his neck so long, so the vowels take time to <laughs> echo out. But anyway, he's I trying became, so hard to come up with these. I don't have to try. I, I don't have to try. You know what? Get popped. Get popped. <laughs> and that's on good. So I was in Santa Monica Pier. We had a hype circle, and then everybody freaking fell in love with me. And then they invited me back to Hype House, and then um, I started coming back and forth out every like once for a week for it, like two uh. Mm. <laughs> Once every two weeks? Yes. Um. No, no. Once, one, one, Once a, a week every two months. Okay, a week every two months. I would come visit, blah, 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 just get closer to everybody. So then I came out for Taylor's birthday, August 19th of 2020. Got to hang out with, Um. I stayed at the Hype House this time because I usually stayed with my friend Brittany. And then Thomas Petra was like, dude, you're freaking awesome. We got to get you in this. And then Taylor then found that they were moving. And then that's when Taylor had gave me the offer. He was like, dude, Markel, we're moving into this house. And... I talked to the squad already, and um, we would love to add you to the team. And I literally started crying. Aww. And I was like, I wanted to move out to L.A., and I was just starting YouTube. I had literally grew 100K subs in three months. Damn. Oh, my God. Yeah, it YouTube was insane. YouTube is one of the hardest platforms to grow on. Literally, yeah. Because people I, just can watch the videos and not, subscribe. And not subscribe. Exactly. Like, it's an easy thing to not subscribe. Do you it still was, post on there? No, I don't know why. I didn't post on YouTube either, and exactly. I had like 600K. I need, yeah, we you need probably to get like, it Yeah, to you got to transition a little bit of content just in case TikTok, anything happens. Exactly. You know? That's yeah, what I'm I saying. I, doing that. Thank you. We need to get our shit together. Because I'm like, bitch, what? <laughs> it's just after I got that plaque, I was like, okay, cool. I got my plaque. No need to keep going. Bitch, it's a million plaque. Mm-hmm. Come on, get after it. So um, Taylor had offered me to move, and then um, I was like, holy cow. Okay, and then I came and moved October 1st, and then I was like, okay, I'm going into this content house. I need to make sure I continue to grind, make sure I don't disappoint nobody, let him down for letting me move in. And um, I think that's really, really respectable that you did that. Like, right. don't let him down. Like, let's grind. Like, exactly. I know so many times that I've introduced people to things or I've brought people on to my team, and they've completely let me down. And I've literally been like, you know, I gave you a uh, shot of a Exactly, literally. And like, this is not me saying I'm the shit and like I can do all this stuff, but like, I genuinely think that I can help people and I can help their careers. I can help people with everything. I bring my mom on. My mom is like the most amazing person when it comes literally to helping people mom. with, yeah, when it comes to like helping people with careers and like just being there as a motherly figure for people. Um, 
And then you f that up? No. Nah. No. Nah. Exactly. So nah. yeah. It was it was a very like I wanted to just show my appreciation in the way of like what can I what asset can I be in your vlogs or in your TikToks or in the house in general? And literally it it just it started playing out because I got to meet you guys and everybody who came over was like, Who is that Who's guy? Markel? Exactly. That's what I was saying. You make a statement in a room, but not in like a not in a way that people are like, He fing sucks. In a way of like uh, I want to know more about this person. <laughs> exactly. Because like, there's bring... a difference between energetic and obnoxious. Right. You never want to be obnoxious. No. But I think you like, just I'm not give... saying you are. I'm saying you're energetic. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. you just... Mm. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you're obnoxious. I think you yeah, just bitch. give off really, really genuine good energy. And that, also, that comes from where you're raised, for one. Right. But it also comes from, like, you want what you get. Right. Like, you want to work hard for where for where you are and you have worked extremely hard for where you are and it's like I think that's super super important and I honestly think that a lot of the people in that house needed you around them right. to like put their asses into gear because people get comfortable and I got comfortable right, I was same. like I got comfortable where I was I wasn't putting work in and I was like I snapped back into gear and I was like what am I doing like I'm letting not only my followers down but my team down my like people down like snap your ass into gear yeah, yeah. make your back make your content and like, let's go. Exactly. And that's the same thing. And when I knew I was like kind of kicking ass and taking aim today, I literally pranked Taylor and it was the like coolest prank, but the like the most heartfelt thing ever. So I got Sean to call him and I was, he was like, dude, like what's going on? Markel's packing his shit and he's saying he's moving back home. And you know, today's April yeah. Fool's. So, um. I thought about that. Yes. You should have pranked some people. I you wouldn't be, me, but yeah. the only two people, three, three people I could prank would be. Riley, Zach, and Jared. Zach would never fall for a prank. Jared's too sensitive and would cry, and Riley's been gone all day. Right, period. So, I pranked Taylor as good because nobody... <laughs> Am I lying? Where did I stutter and where did I lie? It exactly. would depend on what the yeah, prank yeah, was. Yeah, see? No, mm. Jared, Jared, I... If you want, would you do that? <laughs> you literally, bro! Then I'd have to hold you, and I would do it with open arms. You know how I feel. Why would you say that? Literally, why the why would you say that? Literally. I'd be back in the bathtub. And tonight. Zach would immediately catch on. Like he just would. He'd just be like, "Bitch." No, and I thought that was what Taylor would do, but he Sean was you like, "I don't dude, know dude, what day of the week no. it is." <laughs> he was like, "Dude, you need to." Because Taylor didn't answer the phone first phone call. He was like, "Dude, you need to um, you need to call me ASAP." And then he called him. He's like, "What's up?" He's like, "Dude, Markel's in there. Um, he slammed his door. He's saying he's moving home. He's tired of this shit." And Taylor was, Taylor was like, wait, what? What happened? He was like, dude, I don't know. He won't talk to anybody. He slammed the door in our face, and he just said he's leaving home. And he was like, his out, his flight is, like, about to leave in the next three hours. So he was like, oh, my God, okay, I'll call him, blah, blah, blah. So then Taylor calls me, and it was the sweetest thing ever. He was like, hold on, I'll play it for you. It was the sweetest thing. Oh, that's your voicemail? No, uh, I videoed it. Oh, okay. Listen. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's going on, buddy? I'm just today is just not a good day for me. So, so where, what's going on? Where are you at? I'm at compound packing my stuff. Wait, why are you packing your stuff? I'm just, it's just today. It's a lot's going on, and it's just, it's upsetting me that everybody's getting more views than me on April Fool's Day, and I just can't deal with this. Bro, you mother. <laughs> 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 I know your tongue was twitching. It was. I'm gonna body slam you, bro. I'm gonna fuck you up. Taylor, you just got me. Leave, leave, but at least I know you love me. I was literally about to leave, fucking where I'm at right now to come be with you wherever you were. I'm like, yes. Oh. That's the thing about Taylor is like the day that um so I had a guy try to break into my apartment. Uh-huh. Like homeboy lives in Calabasas and like um Zach and Jared live really, really close to me, obviously. So I called them immediately and I called the cops and da 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 and I called um I hung out with Taylor the next day. I was like, Yeah, people do. and he goes, Why the hell didn't you call me, bro? I would have been there and I was like you live 35 minutes away. It's like, away. I would have hopped in the Batmobile and been there in two minutes. <laughs> he literally was like, I was like, you live 35 minutes away. He goes, I could have made it in 15 in my damn Lamborghini. Let's go. I right. would have beat these motherfuckers ass. Keep him in the house. I wanted a fight. And I said, I didn't want him in my house. Period. Like, what the fuck? But he's like always there for people. And I really, really. Yeah. Like and it's, that was the most like, it was, it, I've never felt a, a, a feeling of want so much. And it was like a. 
kind of cool feeling. I'm like, oh, bitch, he want me now. But at the <laughs> same time. Did you already post the video? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, at the same time, it's just like, damn, it's like I really feel like I'm doing like I'm I'm pulling my weight and playing my part that I'm supposed to be in. It was just cool to see him like yeah. react the way he did. Do you have any like best friends in the house, or have you? Is there anyone specific that you really clicked with? Kellyanne, one hundred percent. Because when I want to talk shit about Taylor and Nate, I go to <laughs> Kellyanne. <laughs> and she'll talk shit with me, yeah. and I know it ain't gonna get back. But Nate, little whistle neck ass, I'll talk shit <laughs> to him, and then he be talking shit to it, and then he'll go run it back and tell Taylor, and then Taylor will come confront me about it because Taylor don't hold shit in, and you'll be like. Yeah, you're being a little bitch this and day. I, I gotta, so I, the I, hello, out. I gotta say it because I'm like, he already knows. Was it was it not weird for him a little bit, Taylor? Because didn't he date Killian for a little bit? Uh huh. A little bit, yeah. They dated. Yeah, they like, dated for a while. They da- they dated. Uh, they were like a thing off and on back when I first met him, which was like four or five years ago. Uh-huh. But then they officially. Well, it feels that long ago. So now, like, he's it totally was like four cool or five years. With, ago. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Him and Chase are boys. Yeah, I figured he was cool with it. I just know if he's like a little sad. I guess any ex you see like get engaged, you'd be like. Okay. I don't it's think like, he is. I think yeah. he's actually genuinely happy for. They him. wanted like, to make sure it was the, yeah. he was all there for the right reasons and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So um, they made sure it like was almost, were, it was really sweet. They yes. was literally like not like he's. Um, I wanted to make sure she ended up with someone good. Exactly. It wasn't me. Like we weren't good for each other. But right. I'm glad she found someone good. Right. Yeah. So. It was a great little. You know what's cute? What that? Um, we were in when I was in Texas. I've told the story a couple times. Maybe on the podcast. Maybe not. But. Mm-hmm. Should I wait for that? This nigga over here flipping. Yeah, we've got to change our batteries. We need a camera. Oh, my Lord, Israel. Bitch. It's ASMR. It ain't on there. Um, (laughs) uh, So what was really cute is when I went to Texas with them in... um, (laughs) Markel, if you break one more thing on our set. Um, Okay, okay, I'm putting it down. Okay. When I went to Texas with them, and I think this is uh, maybe March or May of last year, like mm-hmm. beginning of whatever, um, we went to Texas. Jared, shut up. <laughs> Why are you snorting? What? I'm not. Bitch, that's how I breathe. You want me to stop breathing? He's got a coke problem. You know that. <laughs> whatever. Went it's to the Texas. skinny bitch who would say that. <laughs> Keep going. We were in Texas, and we uh, Kellyanne and I shared a room. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Kellyanne and I in one bed, and then Nate in the other. Mm-hmm. And she, we were like, we were lying in bed at one night because we neither of us like drank or did anything. So we went mm-hmm. to bed early, and she was like, "I just started talking to this guy," and she showed me Chase, and they literally just started DMing. And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" She goes, "Is this what I say?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, say this, say this." And, and we were like texting, we were like up all night just talking about. It. And she was like, "He's so perfect," and like da da da. And then a week later, went on a date, and then I saw her. I was like, "How's everything going?" Like da da da. And then like a couple weeks later, or maybe like a month later, she's like, "We're dating." And I was like, "Ah!" And then when she told me that they were engaged, I literally was like, "What the?" F- are you laughing at? <laughs> He's still snoring. <laughs> Bitch, I'm breathing. Mark Hill, yes. do me a favor. This is an honor. Throw this at Jared. Oh, no. I feel like he's got aim. Nigga, I'm black. Of course I got aim. <laughs> oh. <That was> deep. <laughs> Keep laughing and then okay. fucking up our story. I'm going to come fuck you up. Offset. Aw, thanks, Mark Hill. No problem. Um, that's the end of the story, though. So. Okay. <laughs> 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 Please, somebody make a meme of that, of him just, uh, I can't even do that with my tongue. How do you do that? I don't even know. I can't do it not laughing. Uh, yeah, yeah. You'd be a good straight man. You already know what I'm saying, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes uh, Markel will bring out his like, his like ghetto like straight man voice and it's. Let's hear it. Let's hear more. Arms sweaty, knees weak, holly spaghetti. <laughs> I like how you went with the one white rapper. <laughs> <laughs> There's more than one, Jared. I know there's more than one, but like the <coughs> one. <I'll laughs> okay. What? Uh, okay. So, like, where do you go from here? What do you want to do? Like, what what are your career goals? Wait, right before we get into that. So, you've gotten to a point where you've you've lined your pockets a little bit. You're not working at Subway anymore. Come what on. was what was your mom's reaction to when you bought her a car? Because that's pretty you special. Bought her a car? Oh yeah. yeah. So what did you buy? Christmas. I bought her a 2019 Chevy Cruze. Nice. And did she that cry? was um yeah she cried. And that, she has snot hanging from her nose and shit. I put that in the video. <laughs> but um, it was so cool because that shows you when you do good in the world, it comes back to you full circle. And um, they got this little cheap ass school glue <laughs> hole in this little <laughs> red ass. It's don't, actually school glue. Don't, I know. Don't expose Dude, us. Like our that. set's falling apart. That's why we're, we're revamping. We're revamping. Y'all need to reventilate or something. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can nigger rig it. <laughs> Continue to talk. Continue Dude, to talk. I'm going to pee myself. <laughs> he said what? He said. He... No, you can repeat it. What do you say? No, I can't. Don't do it. Anything. I'm not <laughs> going to. You buy your mom a car. Yes. And um, it was just the best feeling ever because that was the first. I'm so f- Sorry. Yo. Oh, that's 41 sucks. weeks. Yo, I've actually never have that's never happened to me. It has happened. No, it hasn't. You've taken phone calls. No, I haven't. Almost every podcast. No, nah, 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 I'm professional. <laughs> exactly. That was Riley. I gotta go pick her up. Um <coughs> Well, you wanna go do that? We can finish this up. Yeah, I guess so. All right, guys. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next week. Well, I mean she has to be picked up, right? Yeah, she does. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Indiana, for coming on our podcast. Oh, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we should trade um, out Indy for. All right. all right. Holy shit. I didn't say my intro again. Say goodbye, B words. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess you can say goodbye. All right, B words. I'll catch you guys next week. Um, I'm Indiana. That's Jibber. That's, uh, that's Zach. Uh, I always say that outro, but um, I'm going to. I'm gonna let them finish. You the, didn't say me. Well, I'm gonna let them do it. Oh, okay. okay. I'm gonna <laughs> let them. I'm gonna let them finish up the podcast. Have a little. Have a little boy talk. I'm gonna go pick up my bestie bitch. And bye. Oh, we're going to talk so much about you, but that's no. fine. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about buying your mom a car. Yes. Oh, yeah, we never finished that. So I brought my mom a car, and um, <clears throat> I paid it off. I literally went, and I was like, let me put a down payment. I was like, you know what? You just got a big-ass lump sum of money. Go ahead and drop that. Do something special for your mom. So I paid the car off, and then uh, I had to hide it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I had to hide it from her for like a week, and then um, Christmas... I gave her a box of mucinex and toilet tissue for a Christmas present. And I wrapped it up <laughs> 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 and then I blindfolded her and walked her outside and she was so shocked. She started crying and just thanking me. <laughs> and <laughs> he's got, he's got Tourette's of the bowel <laughs> movements. <I know. laughs> it's so crazy. So then after that, I came back here and then, um, I like put good karma in the world. And then I got a car for myself cause I was planning on, Either getting a Tesla or a Mercedes C three hundred. I knew that was my dream car, and um, <laughs> um yeah. I ended up getting blessed with the Tesla. Oh yeah, let's yeah, uh, talk about that. Well, how I mean that's that gotta like? be the craziest thing in the world to just spin a wheel because I assume you didn't think you're gonna win. You're like, there's not, so many spots on this thing. Exactly, it was thirty six tabs to be exact, and one of them was Tesla, and the rest of them were dollars. And I was like, okay, I'll get a little dollar real there quick. There was only like, one tab that was Tesla. Yes. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so I call it luck or whatever, the luck of the draw. And um, I wrote it just being funny. And I was like, there's, and I say it in the video. I was like, there's no way I'm going to win. And then it starts slowing down. And I, all you hear is Natalie, no way. No way. No fucking way. <laughs> I and can already hear her doing Literally, that. it was like, tet, 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 psh, Tesla. And I started freaking out. So, um, David had already given out the two that he was supposed to give out. And then, um, Two more people had one from our house. Really? Yes. Wait, who was, else won? Uh, this boy named Sinaj. Okay, uh, sounds like was, a fake name, but go on. No, he's, oh, um, wait. No, hold on. Never mind. Continue. Sinaj is a very, like, outgoing person. He came to write music with Taylor. He actually wrote Ariana Grande's uh, 34, 35, and Positions on her new okay, album. Okay, so not that's doing too where bad. I thought I've heard that yes. name from. Yeah. He's freaking dope. So um, he Nate went first and lost, and then Sinatra's was like, okay, you might as well uh, spin this wheel. I mean, anybody want to go before me? Because if I go, I'm going to win. <laughs> and uh, he literally was the second person to go, and it was like 40 of us waiting outside to go. And Sinatra spent it and won. Wow. And then Taylor That's called went, manifestation Hello. Right there. Oh, that was nice. I like that. <laughs> and, uh, Taylor went after him, and then I was like, can I go, Natalie, just for fun? And she was like, yeah, sure. She didn't think anybody was going to win. And I went up there, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to win. She was like, no way. <laughs> no way. So then um, I landed on test, and I started freaking out. And you know me, got to be extra. And that's what took the ca- hay off the camel's back. I don't know. the need. The- what? That's the needle that broke the camel's back? There you go. There we go. 2.1. <laughs> that part. And, um... I texted Heidi and I, um, Heidi and Amelia. I was like, look, Heidi, I spent on Tesla, but I didn't get to get it. And she was like, what? How didn't you win? I was like, well, they already gave the two. <sighs> and, um, Sinaj had, uh, got his. And then Natalie was like, okay, I guess we can buy one more. And then they had posted me on their story. And they were like, what should we do? Like, should we, uh, 
Like, what should we give Markel? SOL, send help. And then I made all my friends go, get him a Tesla, get him a Tesla, buy him a Tesla. And then Heidi was like, oh, I'm going to reach out to Dispo myself. So Heidi uh, D'Amelio reached out to them. And then she said, Charlie woke up that morning and saw my Instagram post because I posted me spending the will. And I was like, this was a great opportunity, even though I didn't, uh, <laughs> even though I didn't, <laughs> even though I didn't get a Tesla, <laughs> it was still like cool to get it. And then, um, Charlie went to Heidi and was like, Mom, we have to get Markel that car. And then they all had connected with each other. And then Heidi asked me to come over. And they're such a structured, scheduled family. Like, they do everything, like, on the schedule type stuff. And I love that. And they were like, can you come over? And I was like, wait, what? This is not a scheduled thing. Or, like, they were like, we want you to come over and be on our show. And I was like, okay. So then... And then, no, 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 sorry. Whoa, what the? Whoa. Hold up. Is Hold that up. midnight yet? Because what's coming out of you? <laughs> I got to take those shoes off. I think that's what's doing it's it. It's literally what's doing it. I'm trying to get my fish hooked or tongue. I don't know. So then uh, I go over to be, in a, be on their show. And then. If um, you start slashing us, I'm going to be so mad. If you start what? If you start just cutting us, I'm going to be so mad. So, this is a serial killer thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Um, <laughs> so I had went over and uh, she was like, so, Mark, as soon as I walked in the house. I can't. So as soon as I, uh, <laughs> oh my god, Jerry's just gonna cut it so it's a full story. So I went in the house. Charlie Milio got right, a car. Literally. <laughs> so I went in the house and uh, they immediately started asking me about the dispo challenge and I was like, okay, something's up. And it was like, so how did it feel like knowing you weren't gonna get a test, but you still reacted like that? I was like, bitch, it still felt good because I'm like. <laughs> I didn't know it was going like, <laughs> I didn't know it was going to spin on the wheel. Where'd you go for that? What? Where'd you go? Go where? Where'd you go for that couple seconds there? <laughs> Dude, you just spaced out <laughs> so hard. I went to spin, Jerry, shut I went to their house. Yeah, Jerry, you got it. This literally, people are talking over here. Right. Sit over there behind your computer desk with your bear. <laughs> wow. Why with your old fish flops. Why is the bear brown? Why wouldn't the bear be brown? Okay, nice rebuttal. Right, that was good. <laughs> okay, okay, I see. So, um, <laughs> so after what that, did you just swallow? Because whatever came up, I wasn't excited about a loogie. Oh, yeah, dude. Jared, get it together. He <laughs> has he obviously okay. has throat issues. So okay, Literally. so it's a condition. So you the the D'Amelios were like how to <laughs> feel to not win the car. Yes. And I know, as I was explaining, David had came in and he was like, Hey Marco. I was like Oh, you knew it was Tesla time. Right. Oh yeah. As soon as so you I know I literally when he did that when he did that, um, Nuts. What's going on over yeah. there? <laughs> when he did that, I had um. I'm gonna we're gonna cut all this together. Post it on TikTok. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> dude, we're about we have about forty of those. I uh, yes, <laughs> and they all are the same. Maybe I should have been going from a different angle. <laughs> He's gonna have a montage. Look at Jared's just losing it. I need you to come over here and just give him a dopamine rush. <laughs> A uh, who? A dopamine? Yeah. That's not like drugs. That's the 2.1 joke. Well, you can't make that joke. We have that Brunswick bond. Hello, oh, Jerry. You sorry. really pushing it, bitch, because I know you graduated college in two years. Yeah. But these, I got two hands over here that will <laughs> fuck you up. <laughs> they are certified, and fied, bitch. Period. Okay. So David walks in and he and was I'm like. I'm going to fight you too, so it just don't look racist. <laughs> period. Exactly. Yeah. So now it's two and two. <laughs> what does that equal? Hey, if he knew, he'd tell you, but just let him <laughs> tell his story. Oh, not that bitch. Really? I'm going to just, you know, swing this Because don't make me get ghetto and wreck all this shit. She already falling off the wall. <laughs> that is that is something we do need to fix. Yeah. Right. And we were very <laughs> self-conscious about that. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Now I feel just disrespectful and I let it hang. So, anyway... He came in. I thought he was going. At this point, I thought I was. I didn't know I was getting a car. I ain't even gonna lie. I thought I was gonna get a check. He was gonna be like, "Sorry, we couldn't do this for you, but here's a twenty five thousand dollar check for you." And I was going, ah! <laughs> but it wasn't the check. He was like, "Sorry, Marco, we got two pieces of merch for you, and oh, I got something in the car for you." And I thought it was gonna be like a damn fruit basket and a check. <laughs> and then he was like, "Oh, <laughs> and a check." He was like, "Oh." 
I want to have a test outside for you. And that's how he surprised me. Oh, wow. Man. That's awesome. With everything going on, you might be the last Tesla he ever gives out. I know. And that's, that's so crazy. sad. I'm like, what the fuck? But also, thank you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't have a... It's no push to start. So we are, you just open the door and it starts up. Clearly Sorry. You wouldn't know anything about that. Wow. I am poor. So that does add up. I mean, you use that in that mean. <laughs> Zach's got the exact opposite of a Tesla. He's got like a gas guzzler of a truck. Exactly. Why haven't you changed that? Anyway, I'm finishing my Tesla story. Okay. So I go um giving all of them a hug. And he was like, I couldn't have done it without Charlie. Charlie reached out. And I was like, holy shit. This girl really loves me. And I appreciate everything she does. And like, I know I will go to bat for that family with any and everything in me. Like, because they are the shit. And people just think all because they're like, of social media family that are at a like higher level, but they're still down to earth people. And I can go cut up with Heidi anytime. And we just have a friendship moment. No cameras, no nothing needed. It's just very genuine. See, I don't even know if that's a word. It's very it's genuine. close to one. So that's all that matters. It's very genuine. My ankle itch. <laughs> it's very genuine. Oh shit. I feel like I got thigh fibrosis. Um, you didn't know genuine, <laughs> but you knew <laughs> whatever you just said, fibrosis. <laughs> you don't know what that is. You didn't know what genuine was. Why am I the, the one that's thrown <laughs> under the bus here? I mean, step your game up, dude. I don't know the simple words. <laughs> I, oh, I got you. Exactly. Spell karate. K A R A T E. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, the sidebar, um, me and Kellyanne did a versus um for Awesomeness TV, and I misspelled misspell. That uh, was the first word. That's a tough look. <laughs> you got out on the first round. <laughs> Wait, how, how'd you spell it? M I S P E L L. But you, you graduated, right? How would you have spelled it? The correct way. How? What way? Wait, what way is that? I would have added another S in there. Okay. Okay. You're smart. Spell broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Jared's just dying. Can you give Jared one? <laughs> I've gone two for two. No, no. Yeah, spell broccoli. Okay. B R O C C O L I. I'm doing a check. Oh my God, the <laughs> baby, we got to do a check. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> spell baloney. B O L O G N A. Markel, I got a question. For you. <laughs> yes. I got both of those wrong in the spelling bee, by the way. <laughs> How do you feel? About when I was in high school, I was in the black culture club. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's the, but he's the only white guy in the black culture club. I was the only club. white guy. Well, it makes sense. That's why you got a little uh, beach wave curl going on. <laughs> you know, is that all you wanted to say? You just want to tell the black man you did something black? Well, is that I, all you want to say? Just, That's I was so racist. I apologize about, about you, that. You're literally not cultured enough to be in a black culture class. No. Why not? Where, where's the dancing abilities? You don't have a rhythm oh, in your toenail. They wouldn't let me be part of step team. <laughs> Trust me, they wouldn't even let me sign up. I said, let me at least try out. <laughs> okay. And they kind of imagine did, you being the water boy of the SEP team. <laughs> the, I kinda. They they did the same thing that you did with the clapping. They said, All right, just do this rhythm real quick. And I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> and they said tryouts is like five times harder than this. <laughs> yeah. So, step team is <laughs> See? He's yeah. Got it. Yeah, they wouldn't let me be a part of it. And I don't blame them. But he, I got a t-shirt. He's a little bit of a different different guy. Uh, we've brought this up many times. But one time, he had intercourse with a woman, and he Dude. used his snicker bar as a condom. Oh, like a snicker wrapper. You keep bringing this up. Oh, you're kidding me. No, I no. promise. <laughs> Look at him. The smile is just creepy now, isn't it? It used to be like, oh. A fucking Snickers <laughs> bar? Yeah. Like the wrapper? Like the wrapper. And he didn't eat it. He put it in the cup holder, and they both shared the Snickers afterwards. I promise. So was that not an uncomfy? The fact that your small penis can fit in a Snicker <laughs> no, wrapper. No, it was. I had to like tear the corners a little bit, but like it was the girl's idea. First of all, okay, she was the one. She said it. And I said you've got to be joking, and she's like, "No, I'm serious." And then I told that I was like, at that point, when I figured out that she was like dead serious, I was like, "I just got to do it for the story." So I like I I had to I opened it like a bag of chips and then like I had to like kind of tear the corner a little bit to like get it on and then like while it was happening I had to like I had to hold it too. So you should have been put down right after that happened. <laughs> Literally put down, fucking chopped off, and became a damn pescatarian. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> I'm a Presbyterian. <laughs> so um, my next question. Yeah. Did it feel comfy? No, no, it didn't feel good. At Emphasis all. on the first three letters. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the fact that uh, your little penis can fit in the Snickers <laughs> wrapper. Did your head not come out the other side? I didn't close it. It wasn't like it was like it wasn't. On, Go get a like, Snickers. It wasn't on all the way. Like it was just on enough to where like don't act like we've done this before. Right. Explain like, it like we're. I was gonna say a toddler, but it's a weird time to bring this into the story. So, Explain this to so us. So like you opened 2.1. it like a bag of chip. Yeah. What? Hmm? What did he say? No, he, he said, "Explain it like we had a two point one." <laughs> <laughs> you opened it like a bag of chips and removed a snicker. Did uh, you not open the other side? No. So you kept we, that was, side closed. It was acting as like a condom, right? I, I understand. Well, we that got part. that part. But then why would you think it was on there for comfort? <laughs> right. The fact that the end of the wrapper of the snicker was probably just itching her little coochie. It was her idea. Listen, I didn't. Was she enjoying it? She didn't seem to hate it. Wasn't the best time we've ever had. But why you didn't just say fuck it, rip it off, and just go raw dog? She didn't want to. She wasn't comfortable with that. She was more, dude, it was fucked up. She was more comfortable with a Snickers wrapper than going raw dog. That is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I think, and I think, um, just me asking, how, how big is your penis? I don't. Th- it's just know? him asking. It's okay. On a good day, it's all because that's he what? thought he went to black culture class. I'm not believing it. I'll get the ruler right now. <laughs> okay, not this is about to be a different not. podcast. Here, yeah, bring it out, bring it out, bring. <laughs> and just curious about you, Zach. What about you? Oh, we don't talk about that. Um, while my mom listens, you know what I mean. You, you got this part out, Jared. How big is your penis, Zach? <laughs> hey, leave this part in, Jared. I'm not going to tell you. No, how big is your penis? I'm black. Say it. My mother listens to this podcast. Well, this part's not going no, in. No, this part's funny. We got to keep it in. Uh-oh. No, we do not. I have to keep it in. <laughs> okay, wait. Cut out the part where he said his actual inches. But I feel like the dialogue of us asking each other how big our penises, our peni are, plural, is funny. You think I'm out here with a ruler? You might be. Who hasn't? That's you haven't. You never compare to your iPhone. I know every guy has compared to his iPhone. <laughs> Holy shit. Jerry, you compared to your iPhone. I know you oh, have. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Thank you for the honesty. Why is this little whistle neck ass over here lying like he ain't doing shit? I thought he shit. was whistle neck. I'm long neck. He's whistle neck. You can't just trade up the necks. Because I, I, I felt comfortable now with the long neck thing. And now I'm whistle neck and it doesn't feel as good. Okay, long neck. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so back to you. Long, we, your neck's long. We know that's the only long thing on your body. Anyways, about <laughs> my Tesla. I forgot we were even talking about that. We walk. <laughs> Why are you sniffling now, dude? Because I'm laughing so hard. Ain't shit funny, and nobody else ain't talking. No, not one person said. All right, either. what's it like having your life uh, be recorded on like a reality show? That is, it was weird at first, but now it's so interesting to me. Yeah, like the fact that I can uh, go throughout the day and not really notice them around me is kind of cool, but. Dude, if you, do you ever, fart, if you fart one more time, do you ever catch yourself like in your room, like late at night, be like, I definitely said that, and it was definitely on camera. Yes, and it <laughs> have been times I'll have the message, the message the producers and like, please don't put that part in and stuff like that. And are they good about that? Like, yes, okay. they they want to be as transparent as possible, and they will ask you, like they'll they'll usually show us each, they'll show us each episode and uh. Um, our producers, they're very transparent, and if they don't want something in there, they won't. If we don't want something in there, they won't put it in. But it's very interesting going out in public because now I feel like that bitch when the camera's following me, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the drama this week? Because I feel like you guys have to have, like, drama a little bit, We right? don't have to, but it does be some. Yeah. Like, Charlie and Taylor broke up, and, like, Nate's music video just released, and he was kissing another girl, so everybody wanted to ask, like, why wasn't Aisha in the video? And Nate and Aisha are just friends, but everybody keeps trying to ship them together. And I'm like, we're all roommates just making content together. But, you know, the Internet does what it wants. So, yeah, that was a lot of questions when I put up that story on the dropouts Instagram. They were Nisha. like, talk about, yeah, talk about Nisha. And I'm like, I don't know if I can bring that up or not. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know see, who. everybody literally it's so crazy because if they were a couple or wanted to be a couple, they would kick ass and take names honestly yeah everybody's beautiful nice like, exactly oh i know 
They're both beautiful. Their skin complexion, everything about them, but they just don't want to tie the knot. They're just like okay and consistent with being friends. And do you think either one, like one of them, is more hesitant than the other? Um, I feel like Aisha's a little bit more hesitant because she's Muslim and she knows it's against her religion. Like she has to date a Muslim boy, so she would never. So, um, like of course, I feel like his feelings there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but 100 percent, like they uh. Love filming together and just like being able to make content because they know we'll do well. That's one of the things talking to um, the the twins is so interesting because like I've never met like social media people that are so like still like based um, in their like religion. Their, yeah. In their religion. And like family. Their they're really grounded. Yeah. yeah like, like they're really grounded. sweet too. Like you don't get that LA girl vibe from them at all. Uh-uh. But they've been they haven't been doing this long either. Have they? No, actually, they have. They've been doing the social media. They did YouTube for seven years, but they haven't been doing TikTok for long at all. They started okay. on quarantine, yes. Yeah, that's what it was. It was TikTok. Because I remember... Do I sh- give y'all the LA vibe? No. You give me a bad bitch vibe. Period. Come on, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jared. Because Zach little long neck ass wanted to try to raise <laughs> Thank his you. eyebrow. I finally, my name's back, though. That's all I've been wanting. I thought about whistle neck, but I said long neck. All right, guys. Welcome back to Dropouts with... Dude, imagine us next week. George kicking off. Hey guys, welcome to this week's dropouts. Oh, wait, we wait, wait. dropped Andy out. Say what's up, B words. That'll get him going. What's up, B words? This is the next <laughs> way better already. <laughs> Can you, you just interrupt my uh, introduction? What's up, B words? This is episode. No wait, shit. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> what well, he is kind of like Andy. Go ahead. What's up, B words? This is vlog number forty two, and this is it's a podcast, not a vlog. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just know that though, going into it, shut it's the fuck not up. a vlog. Okay, shut up. Okay, you got it though. What's up, B words? This is podcast number forty two. Sitting here, what was your name again? Uh, Zach Justice. We got Zach and Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> Close. His- we got Zach and Jeremiah on the cast. Who's our special guest? No, no, make up somebody. You got it. Oh, and this week, uh, we have Selena Gomez. Come on, really? On. How did Whoa. we pull her? No, uh, excuse me. Sorry, not <laughs> Selena Gomez. That's Shakira. Thank you, Shakira, for being no. <laughs> That'd be a great mix up. I'd be happy with either of them. She what back? the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> She's back. What's up, B word? <laughs> Welcome to Podcast you 42. To take my intro, Markel. That's the one thing. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> I think he might be taking your job. What's up, B words? Welcome back to Podcast number 42. We have a special guest with us today. Thank you so much, Andy, for coming on to the podcast. <laughs> I don't fing like turn my mic back on, bitch. It is back on. Well, Call I can't the hear fuck myself. out. Hey, you come in here with that attitude after you left for 30 minutes. Yeah, I took a pick up Riley. Yeah, I know. Can I send it out? Sure. I haven't been here, but... Sure. Thank you guys so much for joining it. Hello. Thank you guys so much for joining us for episode 41 of Dropouts. We will see you guys next week on Sunday. Make sure to go follow Markel. What's your at? Markel Washington 1. I'm you Indiana. Get the OG. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. That's Jibber Music. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram at Dropouts Pod. And, and we'll see you guys next week. If you guys stay till the end, make sure to DM me Marsh Side Spuds so I know you guys watch the full thing. Uh, see you guys. This was fun. That's the key word. Marsh Side Studs. Spuds. <laughs> the second coolest person to ever come out of Brunswick. So nice to have you here. Forgot your name already. Uh, let's move on. Call long me Long Neck, neck one more time. There we go. <laughs> All right. This was a fun one. Thank you, Markel. Yeah, this is a great one. Keep me up this broke ass, <laughs> Actually, yeah. though.